What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. Oh my gosh. All right. I admittedly did not see the entire episode of Married to Medicine that came on last night. I did see where Heavenly was left off of the wedding guest list and she eventually was allowed to come in. And I'm now, you know, looking back because I just previously did a reality chat where I was discussing the fact that Quad and Heavenly, you know, they were expressing that mean girl energy when they did this live that they did with Love B. Scott. And they were just, to me just being like old mean girls if you will and I'm not here to call anybody old but I do believe the antics are old and when you are a person of a certain age and you're doing stuff like that that's when I think it's appropriate to call something or even somebody old because I would never be here to aim age shame anyone because the years that you're blessed to be here it's a gift okay so it's not about saying anything about the age of these women but just extremely inappropriate in my personal opinion and I get it this is a reality show and whatever and yeah we've seen over the years Mariah and Quad and you know and even now Dr. Heavenly (laughs) who Alexander Rogers, one of my favorite YouTube vloggers, calls Hefferly, <laughs> and I think it is very fitting right now, Ex- you know, do the shade and, you know, do that other stuff, which sometimes it can be funny and then sometimes it could be a little bit over the line, crossing the border a bit. But now it's just really, I feel low. And some people may feel like, well, Sweet Tea or her government name, Letitia, and Dr. Gregory coming on the show, it was low for them to do that when Quad was here first. Listen, the show is called Married to Medicine. I don't know how many times I need to express this. I don't care if Quad was here from its conception, like she loves to say in this voice that she tries to come across as just sounding like the most intelligent and capable person in the room when she speaks. But ultimately... She's not married to medicine. So in my personal opinion, yeah, them being on the show, it's entertaining for us, the viewers who are watching it. And I'm not speaking in that aspect, but I believe that there are ways that you can go about doing things where it just doesn't have to come across. It's just extremely low and tacky. Now, I didn't see the entire episode of Married to Medicine yet. I will go back and watch it on Peacock. But I did see some of Watch What Happens Live, which came on directly after Married to Medicine last night. And both Heavenly and Quad were on there. And I actually, after I think maybe the second break, I changed the channel because it to me was just like, all right, y'all are just doing too much when it comes to Letitia. And I just didn't like it. I feel that Quad... And Heavenly, in my personal opinion, even though Heavenly did that interview with her on her YouTube channel when she was asking Quad how she felt about them bringing Dr. Gregory and his new now wife onto the show, how she felt about it. And she, you know, Quad was like, well, I felt like it was disrespectful because I've been here since this conception and they really should have just considered me before they made a decision like that. But now that I'm looking back on it, even though I don't believe that Heavenly and Quad are like true blue, no matter what happens, friends like that. But I do believe that both of them are messy in that way. So when it comes to the mess, they mesh really well. And so they have that in common. Because I'm not here to be holier than thou and say that you can't be above the fray and enjoy some of the mess every now and then. I understand that. I do. Especially from the perspective of me being someone who is giving commentary on shows like this. I'm obviously not above 
the mess, if you will, because I freaking watch the show. But I do believe that there is a line. And when it comes to Letitia and Dr. Gregory, like that's a real life situation. So Quag showing up to her bachelorette uh, pamper party that Toya and allegedly Phaedra were throwing for her and Phaedra bringing that girl to this event yeah, people can say, well, Quad, she clocked in and clocked out. She did the job that she was there to do. But that's like a real life thing. Quad shouldn't have showed up just like she sat her happy ass up in that bubble bath, taking a bubble bath while they were getting married. She should have did the same thing when it came to the bachelorette party, okay? But I'm starting to look at them differently now. And I'm starting to feel like that was actually Quad and Heavenly's idea to get them to be back on the show and that even makes me side eye quad even more because she i feel has tried to paint dr gregory in this horrible light of abuse like he was so terrible to her but like i've said before and i will say again if he was that horrible to her i don't care how much the check was there would be no way that i or most people that have common and logical sense and are so intelligent would be sacrificing their dignity and integrity to be on a show just for a check to be around a man that was beating my ass. I'm sorry. Cause I had somebody make a comment on one of my previous commentaries where I was discussing this and they made a comment, something along the lines of it's really sad when women don't believe women. That's far from the truth when it comes to me. But I do like to speak on BS when I smell it or see it. And in my personal opinion, I felt like Quad, if they did have fights, they were fighting. It wasn't Dr. Gregory sitting there beating Quad's ass. I'm sorry, but that's the light she tried to paint him in. And even though she didn't come out and say it directly because she knows that that's not the case, she tried to paint him in that light because with some people, all you have to do is insinuate and then people take that as what that person actually meant well you know she didn't really come out and say it but we all know that that's what was going down nah because he might have had the high pitch voice that was annoying and that people honestly made fun of and yeah he may have been inappropriate or may have had controlling ways i'm not here to say that he was a perfect husband i believe that they were not good for each other so he could even sit and blame i him, you know blame her and say well i still married her when other people were telling me not to marry her well he made the decision to do so so ultimately he made that bad decision and that's on him and quad as well she knew that that man wasn't what she wanted she wanted something that was going to be beneficial for her at the time and now she is leveling up if you will in a materialistic sense and listen there's nothing wrong with that too as long as your love for the material isn't the most important thing because money is great having access is amazing and even living a life of privilege can be wowzers as well but when you have the love for that versus the love for people and you will do anything for that then that's when it becomes an issue and a problem. So I want to play a little clip of Heavenly and Quad from Watch What Happens Live, just so you can just kind of get a gist of the things that they were saying and why I'm starting to feel like they both were in on getting these two to be on the show because it gave Quad relevance, if you will. I am curious. So, I mean, Dr. G got married tonight. Yes. Is there any part of you that sees it and has any heartbreak associated with seeing it? No. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> Not okay. at all. Yes. Okay. I'm actually really happy for the couple. I hope they do well and have an everlasting relationship. Very nice. And, Dr. Heavenly, what do we think the chances of them having an everlasting relationship are? It's about 2%. 2%? Two percent. Two percent? So I'm a relationship expert, so I know the Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay, so you are giving Sweet Tea and Dr. G a 2% chance. It's a lot of obstacles there. A lot of obstacles. Maybe that's skin milk right there. Yes. Okay. And so let's just put this into a timestamp. Will they make it to the reunion? 
I would think so. I yes. think so. For face. Yes. Okay, for yes. face value. Yes. Okay, will they make it to the end of 2025? Depending on if she gets pregnant or not. Oh, I okay. think they're going to try it hard. They're no, they're going to they're gonna try. They're working yeah. it now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's one of the other seasons, so they're going to try okay. it hard. By the way, how did, you <laughs> make, how did you make your way back into the wedding after being taken off the list? Um, they actually added me back in. I, oh, I don't know. Did? Oh, Miraculously, okay. Phaedra brought the, brought the uh, preacher, so we, if we didn't get in, she wasn't going to have a wedding. What do you think was better, um, uh, your bubble bath or sweet tea's wedding? The bubble bath was getting luxurious. I didn't see that much at the wedding. It was. All right, so you heard that little glimpse of what they were saying. Now, that was just the beginning. And honestly, it just pretty much went on for the majority of the episode, at least for the remainder that I could even stomach to sit there and watch. Because like I said, after like the second break, uh, commercial break, I just changed the channel. I was like, I'm, I'm done, enough. It was just pretty much a sweet tea um, bash fest, if you will, or just, you know, trying to make it just seem like they are so above her and this marriage isn't going to last. They're going to just stay together this, to save face. You know, Quad made a comment about them, you know, sticking together at least through getting to another season because that's what they really want. You know, I, it's like, this is what Quad wants. And it's funny because the one of the games, you know, Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Lives, he loves to play these little games. And one of the games he had asked because it showed pictures of all of the other ladies besides Heavenly and Quad. And one of the questions he asked was, you know, who has the, who like, who loves the fame and who's been affected by the fame the most? And I immediately thought Quad. Heavenly actually said Quad. And because Heavenly said Quad, then Quad said, I was going to say Heavenly. But none of those two ladies were the choices, right? We know that Quad is the one that's been affected by this so-called flame, fame, flame, (laughs) fame or Bravo celebrity status, if you will, the most. Because she lives for this stuff. She craves it. She loves the attention. She loves the cameras to be on her. And you know, it's funny because I was listening to, uh, oh my God, what's his name? Justin, King of Reads YouTube channel. And I was listening to his commentary on something and I literally burst out laughing because he was talking about Heavenly and Quad and the Sweet Tea situation a little bit. And he said something about Quad, because he said, you know, it's funny how they're making so much fun of Sweet Tea, but Quad, don't forget, you know, you just now getting to the point where you're covering that entire forehead with that wig. (laughs) I was like, oh my God, but it's true. But basically it was like, the, the truth of the matter is a lot of them have been able to level up their looks with getting stylists, getting access to more higher end clothing, the looks, the hair, the makeup, all of that over all of these seasons. This young lady, call her what you will. I wouldn't necessarily call her a gold digger, honestly. I mean, even Heavenly said it. She said Quad was a gold, Quad is a gold digger. Letitia, she just digging for copper. And I would actually have to agree with that. It's like, she, of course, wants stability. What woman want, would not want that? Of course she wants to, if she's going to marry someone, marry somewhere where she's not going to have to struggle financially and she's having to fit the bill for everything and just to say that I got a man, at least I got a husband. So the fact that people are trying to knock her for that, even though she said some things are just kind of inappropriate, I just feel like it was more so her just being a bit country, um, unlearned. Yeah, she may have watched Married to Medicine before, but that doesn't mean that you're familiar with actually having the cameras on you. It's a completely different ball game. I don't desire to have that status, and I couldn't even imagine being in that space of being someone where I was actually watching a show, and then at one time having the cameras on me, being on that show, and being around these women that, one, I used to watch on TV and two are friends of the man that I am marrying. So I'm trying to get some sort of connection with them as well so that we can sort of mesh a little bit and and be friendly, you know? And so 
I didn't have an issue with her leaving Dr. Heavenly and unfortunately Dr. Damon, because he's just a casualty <laughs> of the war, you know, if you want to put it that way, of getting his name left off because of Heavenly, because for her to sit there and say those things about Letitia in front of her friends, her best friend was there at the Bachelorette and they played that playback of the friend looking at her like, I know you're not sitting here and saying this stuff and, and not thinking that it's going to get back to her, but it's going to get back to her, whether I'm the first one to tell her or um, after a few different people that have told her, she's going to know that you said this about her and we'll see if she would still want you to be a guest. You know, and Heavenly calling herself this relationship expert, listen, she's not. I don't care if she's been married for a long time. I've been married for 25 years. That doesn't even make me a relationship expert. I may know what's best for my relationship and my marriage and our household, but I would never sit and tell other people what they need to do and whatever. I could give tips and advice if someone asked me just based on my personal opinion, but everybody's situation is different because we're all individual people married to other individual people. Two halves don't make a whole. You need to have two whole people to become one. And a lot of times that isn't the case, but you make those decisions whether you're going to try to work it out with the person, make it work to have this life together, or you're just like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. But for her to sit there and speak those things over someone else's relationship, Heavenly is the first one that would not want anyone speaking anything negative about hers. And when Mariah insinuated that she has some stuff on Dr. Damon, she was not there for it. And Mariah's like, do I need to bring the receipts? Do I need to bring the receipts, baby girl? Because I got receipts. I don't think Mariah was lying. Some people may say she was being messy, but I really believe that she wasn't lying and she was trying to check Heavenly. And I believe that's one of the things when it comes to Heavenly. She doesn't want anyone to try to cross that line or that boundary when it comes to her marriage and her relationship that she feels is perfect. No relationship is perfect. But for her to sit there and throw salt on somebody else's situation, I just don't think is right. So to see the both of these ladies on Watch What Happens Live, and they were just really going in on Letitia, in my personal opinion, I just really started to view them as if they both were in on getting the two of them on the show. Because it has been said, and she said it, meaning Heavenly, that she wanted to have Letitia on the show. Some people saw that as... A backstab to Quad, but I believe they already had the discussion and Quad knew what was up. And she felt that heat as well because a lot of people were making it known that they didn't want to see Quad on here anymore. And a lot of people still feel that way. She was very nasty towards Toya. She was insinuating that Toya has something to do with Anila's house getting broken into. She has definitely shown her vitriol against Toya. And yeah, Toya, she didn't care for Quad either. I could see that from the very first season. I do believe that there were attempts made to try to be friendly, but at this point in time, I just believe it's completely done, null and void. And I don't blame Toya because I didn't really care for Toya at first either. Now, you know, whether her and Eugene move every season... I don't care. That's their life. That's their financial situation. It's not affecting me. So I really don't care. I've actually come to like Toya more than Quad. And I used to like Quad in the beginning. But now, you know, when I saw how she did Mariah and then all of the other things that I've seen of her over the seasons and just she's always the victim. It's always everyone against her. When she was saying Toya would do anything to just X me out of this group of ladies. My thing is, you are only here because of the check. You're not even in this group of ladies, to be honest with you. Yeah, her and Heavenly, they have like a cordial sort of messy, friendly situation, but they're not true and genuine friends because those two are kind of the same types. And if either one of, the, either one of them did something that they saw was just low down and dirty and egregious towards the other then they would let it be known that they're not really friends. So now it's just like they're two peas in a pod, but it's fake. It's just not real. And I just didn't like what I saw. So guys, if you watched 
watch what happens live and you saw the both of them on there let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you guys so much for being here for liking and subscribing let me know if you feel like quad was in on this with heavenly forgetting dr gregory and his now new wife onto the show because it helped to give her relevance and also gave her the opportunity to negotiate her contract like she really didn't ha have the pull and the leverage to do prior to that. So again, Dr. Gregory, in my personal opinion, has given her relevance. He gave her relevance by being married to her and allowing her to be one of the wives of Married to Medicine, which honestly, Dr. Jackie, one of the reasons why she doesn't really care for and respect Toya or Quad is because she just sees them as married to medicine, but not actual, true, working, legitimate women. Like, she sees them as beneath her. And that's one of the things I can say that I don't really like about Dr. Jackie. Respectfully, as a professional in her industry, kudos. But on the show and as a person that is amongst the girl group, I just don't see it for her in that way. I know this isn't about her, but I may do a separate commentary about her, guys. Let me know your thoughts. If you want me to do that, I'll probably get into it when I have a little time. But thank you guys so much again for being here, liking, and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.